shield yourself. Hendrix here for Root Junkie. As most of you know, NVIDIA has marketed their line of shield devices with one key feature, the ability to stream games from your PC onto your shield device. And while this is a really cool feature, most people don't own shield devices. So today I'm going to be showing you how to get the same functionality onto most Android devices. Limelight's an application that mimics the connection of a shield device so that the PC can stream to it. And while this application has actually been on the market for a pretty long time, constant support has really made it a polished product. In its early days, the connections could be kind of wonky and setting it up could take a lot of time. Now it's pretty much plug and play. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to set this up on my 2013 Nexus 7, but this should work for most current Android devices. First things first, make sure that you have a computer running either a GTX 600, 700, 800, or 900 series card. If you're running an AMD branded card, that's not going to work for you, sorry. Next, you're going to want to install the application from the Play Store. You just search Limelight into the search and you'll find that there's two versions, one with root and one without. The one with root will get you better connections and overall better gameplay. Next, hit the appropriate computer and this should send a request to GeForce Experience on the PC. You'll see on your PC that it's requesting a code that will be listed on the tablet. Once you've entered this code, you should be good to go and the list of games will start to populate. Note, not all games are available for stream play. Last but not least, go ahead and hit the game you want to play and start your experience. But Hendrix, you might be asking, I'm running into an error. And here are a few errors that I came across on how to fix them. First, make sure that the PC and the tablet are on the same connection. I can't tell you how many times I went to do this and was on the wrong connection and it didn't work. Next, make sure that your computer is on and that Steam is open. Without this, it'll fail. And last but not least, while I didn't have to experience this, a lot of people on the forum say that you have to enable port forwarding. And if you don't know how to do this, a really quick Google search will tell you. Within the application settings, you're able to change things like resolution and frame rate. So if your game is starting to skip a little, go ahead and consider dropping down to 720p or 30 frames per second. So there you have it. If everything went well, you should have a game running at 1080p at 60 frames per second on your tablet from your PC. And if you're wondering, how do I control it without a mouse and keyboard? Well, keep your eyes open for part two of this video where I show you how to control this with either a PS3 or 4 controller. Until then, make sure that you're subscribed to this channel for more Android device videos. Follow us on social media down in the description down below. And until next time, Root Junkie out.